And Terry, how much is on the manager in that spot? I'm sure, look, you manage here in New York, but you manage other places as well. You had to adjust and know what New York is. And I know that there's a sensitivity with today's players, and it's a little different, and they hire these guys as data applicators as opposed to a manager. You were a manager. If you're there hearing Lindor say he doesn't like to be booed and then the whole thumbs-down thing, how much of that is on the manager to go to them before it even gets to that point and say, hey, guys, this is a passionate fan base. you know, you got to know what you're getting into here. Take accountability as opposed to it being on the individual himself. And I know it's hard to do that with a, an inexperienced manager, but how much of that is on the manager? Well, you've got to, that is exactly what you've got to say. Hey, listen, the first thing you've got to be in New York City is accountable. You know what? Excuses don't play, and, and especially in the big leagues. You know, there, nobody feels sorry for you. You're a professional athlete in New York. You're being paid good money. You know, the other teams don't feel sorry for you. The fans don't feel so. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Go out and play. And, and and I'll tell you, I've always believed in accountability to stand up and say, "Hey, look, you know, we got to be, we got to play better." End of story. And but to sit, you know, the excuses and you know, you know, whatever. Nobody likes to be booed. I mean, we're you know, they're, they're human beings. That's common sense. But I think it, I, and I'm sure Louis probably had something to say about that. Uh, the thumbs down thing. You know, I think you need to know what that was about. I think you need to be able to say, "Hey, what's what's going on? What is that? What's going on with that?" Because that you just that you just can't do that here is it, anywhere. Is it honest, something? Anywhere. Is it something, Terry, that comes with experience? And this is not a knock on Rojas; he's just not as experienced. You're a guy who learned along the way. You were harder at times on players that maybe eased up the more that you got an opportunity, especially with the Mets. And I know today's players are ultra sensitive, but is that something that takes experience to be able to go in that clubhouse and let them have it? as opposed to, you know, a newer manager who, who doesn't have that experience or doesn't have that pedigree that maybe you did? Well, I, I do know one thing. I do know that Louie is a really good communicator, and I think there's got to be at times, you know, there's got to be some one-on-ones or, hey, look, you got to bring these two guys in and say, listen, you know, people are following your direction here, and, and you know, this has got to change or that's got to change because, you know, it's it's all about getting it done on field. And, I again, I'm not aware of what's going on. I don't have, you know, I'm not on the inside anymore, so I don't know – what what took place but there's always a lot of things behind the scenes that that happened but you know you just can't you just you can't do that in new york city i mean you, you these fans are passionate they know the game they know the players i mean it's incredible to this day I, when i go to new york and walk down the streets it's amazing how many people know who you are so you know what again stand up and, and just say hey you know we got to play better you know we're doing right now uh, I'm, you know, I'm giving a hundred percent effort, and you just let the let the ducks play. I mean, I I don't know what else to how else to go about it. 